Greetings and salutations, comic book conversationalists. This is Comic Book Hangover. My name is Scott, and we have a weekly haul, weekly review video to get underway, uh, starting with this week's haul. Not a whole lot of books, but I definitely made up for not getting any Godzilla comic books last week. So starting, uh, I guess this is going to be at the bottom of the stack. This looks like a reverse alphabetical order here. Uh, we have from Image, Void Arrivals number 10. So this is the first of the Energon Universe books to reach double digits. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we also got Sweetie Candy Vigilante, Volume 2, Number 3, uh, which may end up being the last for this series that I pick up. I don't even think I read Issue 2. Uh, this, the concept is great. The characters are great. The designs are great. The art is great. And all that stuff is fun. It's just, I don't know, the, the story just, it, it um, for this volume in particular, just isn't, I don't know, it isn't for me. So I, I know there's there's got to be people out there who really, really are enjoying the series, but it's just not for me. And I'm kind of in a position now where I do need to cut back in my book. So this might be the last issue of Sweetie Candy Vigilante that I pick up, although I might grab uh, some trades for that instead of getting the individual books. And then getting into the Godzilla portion of my stack, Godzilla versus Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number or part two, number three of five. I grabbed the uh, wraparound cover. The other cover, the standard the cover A, it looked okay in the picture in person. I didn't like it at all. So I swapped it out for the, uh, the wraparound cover there. From Marvel, we got the Godzilla King of the Monsters number one facsimile edition. I grabbed both the standard cover as well as the foil variant cover. Um, one of the only facsimile books where I picked up the, um, the, the regular cover as well as a gimmick cover. The only other one that I did was Omega Men number three, the first appearance of Lobo. So... For, the, for these ones here, the characters that are, are actually important to me, that actually mean something to me, uh, those ones, I'll, I'll grab the uh, the variants too. So if they ever do a uh, Marvel Spotlight number five for Experience of Ghost Rider, and they do a foil variant for that, I'll definitely grab that. And then the last one I picked up this week, another long title, probably the longest title that I picked up this week, a Godzilla Here There Be Monster, or Here There Be Dragons 2, Son of Giants, number one. So there you go. There is that one. That's a pretty nice cover. I do like that cover. So, uh, But cover of the week is going to go to foil variant. I don't really do variants like this very, that often, gimmick variants, very gimmick covers. But the foil variant for Godzilla, King of the Monsters, number one, in fact, Sibley edition, is my cover of the week. Because it's a classic cover. It's a classic Godzilla cover. To me, this... This cover is as iconic in the worlds of Godzilla as the movie poster for the 1954 Godzilla movie. And it is just as iconic to me as that poster is. Uh, so there is that. Those are all the books that I picked up this week. And uh, before we get into the books that I uh, grabbed last week that I want to do, just talk about it just a little bit. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. So that said, let's get into the books that I picked up last week, starting with, let's start with Destro. Destro number one, uh, expanding the Energon universe a little bit more. This time we're expanding on the Cobra side of it. The only thing that, that, that kind of confused me on this is when we left Cobra Commander, he was still in the process of creating the organization of Cobra the ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. Uh, in this one here, it seems to be all taken care of. He's got the Cobra logo. He's got a Cobra base. He's got his his traditional uh, Cobra commander uniform on with the plates. I don't know if we're going to see the hooded version of it. I kind of hope we do. I know the reason why they stopped doing the hooded version is because of, of you know some, some idiot thought it looked like a white supremacy, and we, we can't have that. We can't have the leader of a terrorist organization look like an evil person, apparently. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't make sense to normal sane people. But uh, Destro, number one, we have Cobra, who is in full full effect of uh, full of charge of Cobra, the organization. And uh, we see not so much an origin of Destro, but we get uh, an idea of, of, of who he is, where his standing is in the world of uh underground arms dealing and we also meet the uh the 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 uh the twins zaymont and tomax uh we find out um kind of find out 
that the industrial tie, the industrial lineage, the industrial family tree has this whole fascination with metal masks over their faces. So, uh, Destro number one, it, uh, it, it wasn't really groundbreaking, but it's just like Scarlet number one, where it's not a mess. It's just, we're laying down the foundation. We're doing something different. We're doing something new with this character that we've known for, uh, for 40 odd years, but now we're finally, we're, we're doing something different with it. So it's, it's familiar, but it's new. Uh, so I, I enjoyed it. I'm very curious to see where this goes. I, I like that they have uh, already sort of, uh, established the, the love, the respect hates, not so much love hate, but the respect hate relationship between Destro and Cobra Commander. Their, uh, uh, you know, Cobra Commander sees uh, himself as being in charge of everything, but Destro is like, you're in charge of your organization. I'm in charge of my organization. I'm working with you and not for you. Uh, but a good read, a good fun, fun read. And uh, just like with the other, the other uh, Energon Universe books, I am planning on keeping with it because it is just so much fun to get to, to see these characters in a new light. After all these years, the other book that I wanted to meant to talk about real quick is the Uncle, Uncle Scrooge and the Infinity Dime uh, one shot. This is just a one shot book that features uh, a, a, an Uncle Scrooge or rather he just wants to be known as Scrooge from uh, another universe who uh, figures out through a series of events. Uh, how to go into other universes and collect the number one dimes of different Scrooges. And, and he goes beyond that. He goes beyond just taking the number one dimes. He takes their money bins as well. And he has this massive money bin where he's keeping all the money bins from the different Scrooges. And he calls himself, uh, I think the, the Scrooge, the Scrooge above all or something like that. So we have our, the, the uncle Scrooge that we're familiar with being one of the last ones that he attacks. And of course our uncle Scrooge doesn't put up with that sort of thing very, very easily and very well. So he, collects a different a bunch of different versions of himself uh, forms a coalition also gets a secret weapon in the form of a whole uh, battalion of donald ducks a whole battalion of pissed off donald ducks and he launches a full-on assault and sets the sets things right so there is your story for it what i really liked about this is this is a new uncle scrooge book but the way it was written the way it was drawn even the lettering and the word balloons were like the old school Uncle Scrooge comics from you know the, the Walt Disney comics days back in the day. So it had that that nostalgic vibe to it. It had that that feel, that classic feel, and I really like that about this one. And if, if if Marvel decides to do more books like this, I will definitely uh, definitely check it out. I may even check out. I think the next one coming out is this one here, and this is a What If Donald Duck Became Wolverine. Uh, so I may check this one out. There's a there is a preview. If you haven't picked this one up yet, there is a preview for the Wolverine uh, one shot at the back of that. So Uncle Scrooge and the Infinity Dime definitely a, a good fun read, especially if you are a fan of Uncle Scrooge. If you're a fan of the classic Disney comic books, I would definitely recommend checking that out. Destro fun book. It's uh, you know laying down the groundwork for another character. Uh, it's it's doing what it's supposed to do, and I'm still enjoying what I'm reading as I'm reading along. So those are the books I wanted to talk about this week. If you check those out, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about those as well, as well as any other books you picked up. And uh, we are going to be wrapping this video up because I got nothing else to say other than check out my Miles Morales Spider-Man number one poster. I do like that one. That one actually looks, looks a lot better. Uh, on the wall than it does than the, the solicitation picture that I saw for it. So I still have probably about uh, six to 10 more posters that I need to get unwrapped and hang up. So there's gonna be a little bit longer before I have some, some doubles, but that said, hope everybody had a great new comic book day uh, and, uh, and enjoy your weekend coming up. I will have a marvelous box uh, unboxing video uh, as well in the next uh, week or two. And also some, uh, kind of sad news about the marvelous box as well coming along with that video uh but that said hope everybody had a great new comic book day once again have a great weekend i will see you next week with another <laughs> weekly Goodbye. haul weekly review video see ya